Hi everyone and welcome to my To The Skies playthrough. While you were away, I made a little bit of a farm area, put, made a spot for my bees and did a couple of uh, farm plots. I'll quickly show you those now. So I've just made a little extra area and a paddock or a field should I say of cabbages. Straight below that, a field of tomatoes with glowstone lighting it up. And I'm working my way around with glass. Haven't quite got all of this side done. Um, I've just popped my composting. I've set this up and it's going beautifully. So it's right here, convenient. So after I've been harvesting, anything I don't want. On the way out, I can just pop straight into here. And this is the final floor and it's just wheat and I've made, I tried to make a dome. Um, it's not really a dome, but it's better than nothing. Um, one of my loot bees dropped an egg and I threw it and we got a chicken hatch. So I've just left him in here with the rest of the bees. We have three bees and we're getting some honey. I just, um, Made all of this Minecraft dirt and bone mealed it to get some flowers and keep it looking pretty. Um, once we've got end, access to ender eyes and things like that, I'll put that the glass you can walk through here. Yeah, so it's pretty basic, but it's a start. So one of the things I have run into is this pedestal has completely stopped working because it is full, chock-a-block full. And... Um, all of these other ones are getting pretty full as well. So clearly storage, that one's stopped. If it, if it hasn't stopped, it's not far off stopping. No, it's stopped. And this one is working through. So the nether rack's not producing a lot. Crimson gnarlium stores, spores, warped gnarlium spores, and this raw isnium and other world saplings, both from occultism no idea what they're used for but I'm tempted to turn this one off for the moment simply because I don't even know what we need all that for as a matter of fact I might just do that right now oh, I think that'll work its through way through what's in there so two things I want to work through on this episode is the tree automation and some storage clearly we need to get some man of steel mesh Salsa. Okay, that's just slight sidetrack, doesn't take me long. I'm going to pop this one here. And I have some soul sand, I need some soul sand for. And here. That pedestal there. Need another sifter and another pedestal. And sifter. Yeah. I'm going to just steal an andesite mesh from one of the ones that aren't. I can get it off. What the? How is that going through with nothing? And it's full. So just putting dirt in there. Um, I think I need to turn this off. Why? What difference does it make? It's going through nothing. I think it's just going into nothingness. Anyway, so what am I doing? Pedestal on here. A export. No, no, no. On yeah, receiver. No, oh, hang on, it's not working. Soul sand. Soul sand doesn't seem to be doing anything. Why? Oh, hang on. So to make soul sand is slightly different. It's not that. Soul soil. How do we make soul soil? Oh, through one of these things. Haunting. That's got me confused. Oh, it's a soul fire. Okay. I don't know what I need to do. I need to not do that. Make one of these. Iron plate. I need a hammer. To make a hammer. I need an andesite. Thingy and one of these and I think I've already got one of those. Do I 
no. I need four of these. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now make another one of these, yep. And then that. And we can make the pen. Now we have these little lots of these little starbuncle things. I think we could probably use one of these. Don't know how it works, but this is where we do the discovery. Um just pop him here. Okay, we're going to need a sh oh will we? Let's put it directly. Nice. Okay, so following that theory, we can use this. Put him there. Put him there. It's gone backwards. It's the direction we um, have our we are going in, so he needs to go this way. That's better. And then salt sand, the soil. And then we put this in. <laughs> Not doing it like that. We might have put it out, I suppose. And Q. No, a bit closer. Q. Okay. Yeah, I knew it was going to do that. Where to go? Hmm. Maybe not in the actual fire. Maybe here. Not burnt up in there. Hmm. Well, I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. It's burning it up. And then putting it here. Well, it seems to have particles. Maybe if I just wait a bit. No without getting quite so close seems to be doing what it should be I think this requires a little bit more research I'll leave that sitting there for a minute um, and in the meantime functional drawers basic storage functional drawers I need more than that why isn't it letting me do multiples? There we go, six, eight. Right, so... I'm thinking if I do it... Along here, one, two, three, four, five... Okay. Can I do the controller? Because then I can pipe it straight in there. Oh, controller. Okay, so I need some nether quartz, which if we could get this sand to work. Uh, I'm kind of stuck now. I'm going to have to come back, do some research and come back. So it's definitely not changing. So I'm definitely missing something somewhere. I'll be back. All right. This several days after I went to figure out what I was doing wrong with this, since I was completely stumped by this quest, watched a couple of videos and found the really obvious answer. So soul soil is actually dirt, not soul sand, which is what I was throwing in there. So if I'd have just looked at the recipe correctly, I wouldn't have had any of the issues that I had. I feel like a bit of an idiot, but there we are. So I'll just quickly chuck in a bit of dirt so we can move forward 
with this quest. One bit of dirt. And we have soul soil. Yeah. Anyway, what can I say? Now we can pop this underneath here and it should start working perfectly. Lovely. Now, where was it going? I had it. Okay, so it was intended to go here. It's a problem when you go away for a couple of days. You can't remember what you're doing. Receiver. And then we should be getting soil sand in there. And hopefully some quartz. Oh, first thing we get. Lovely. So that solves that little issue. It was way harder than it needed to be. Okay. Just literally got a loop B. And he dropped a superstitious hat. Extra level of looting, so that might be a little bit better at the moment than the villager hat. Wow, very cute. Oh, I look so stylish. Ooh, very nice. Um, yeah, so I'll pop that there. I'm sure the villager hat will come in very handy when I've got some villagers to trade with, but right now I don't have any such things. I might just cook those eggs. So what we were doing is we just set up the soul sand in our sifters. So I've just taken everything off this sifter because it was just full of dirt and not going anywhere. Um, and it, but it looked like it was doing something so it was just throwing me out. So we've got this pedestal with soul sand which is finally making quartz and I was just waiting for a little bit to get enough quartz to be able to do something with it so now I've got a full stack I just finish off this episode with making a controller for which we need redstone torches we need three of those Don't see what the difference is between those quick look controller I'm using granite, stone, any stone, or just stone, stone, any stone. Yep, that's better. Lots of diorite from building my little farm area. Oh, and a block of quartz. No, not red quartz. Two. And a controller. I think at a later date we will need an extension, but at this point I think controller is sufficient so I'll just stick the controller in here don't need to apparently don't need to have the draw the controller away from the drawers but just to have it all together for now let's just that's plenty now we need to link them up I think that controller linkage comes from the quests from memory Yes, and avoid upgrade. Excellent. Going to need a few of those, I think. So the linking tool, just squat, click on the controller. So squatting and clicking the S, which is your mode to multiple. So we'll just click there and click there. And that should select all of them. Beautiful. And then I can just sit that in a chest somewhere out of the way. So... I also need to lock them, but I can't do that without a different tool. Go okay, configuration tool. Click this. Ah, oh, that should be fairly straightforward, so I can lock it. But at the moment, I don't think I need to worry about that. So what I can do is I'll just take one of those, one of those, one of those, one of those. Lapis. It's exactly enough. Emerald and diamond. Okay, so that's all of them. So now we need to find a way to pipe that into there. And I think modular router might be the solution. Um, don't know if I can do that yet though. 
just check. So I've got one quest here for elemental craft. I got one of these from a loot bee. And I don't want to clutter up things with that at the moment. So I'm just leaving that sitting. But that does mean I don't know when I've completed a quest. Which is a bit of annoying. So there we go. Anyway, quick sleep. I wonder if that um, hat will improve the loot bee drops. We'll see, I suppose. We seem to be getting a few loot bee drops. One thing I didn't mention in um, my quick show of my farming areas I just quickly set up a drying rack I was getting sage siege so I grew some sage and I've stuck it on the drying rack and I've just left it there stuck it on a tree hanging in the air um, I will look at getting into hexerai a bit later other than the drying rack I really don't know much more about it I've seen a couple of videos but that's about it Godzilla yes can do those um, before I start building one. Send a module. Need ender eyes. Sorry, ender pearls to go up to mark two. But can do mark one. Don't quite know what the difference is. Um, ender eye. Ah, sifting. We can get it with an amethyst mesh or a man of steel mesh, but we need end stone. How do we get end stone? End stone bricks. Okay, so how do we get end stone <laughs> bricks? Uh, I think we're pretty much. Yeah, don't know. Who knows? I'm sure we will find out at some point. But at this point, we can't get an end eye. But we can get the level one. So let's just make a start. So we need four iron bars. One of these blank modules. Oh, a gold nugget and some paper. Make the module. Gives me six. Lovely. And that gives me four modular routers. Just want one for the moment. And then I want a puller, which needs a sticky piston. I think we've got stuff for sticky piston one sticky piston so we need to pull we're only pulling from one at the moment so obviously probably need to make a pull module for each let's see this is interesting to see how this is going to work and a sender module piston and a module thing. So let's see. If we put the modular router here. No, I think it's when it's on level one it's got a straight straight. So if we put it here, it should be fine. I don't know, we'll find out. So first we're going to pull from this one. Squat. Hmm. Going from an adjacent inventory in the modules configure direction into the route. Oh no. That's not going to work. I have to put on top maybe. But then I won't be able to send it on an XY basis. Okay. If I put that on the top and move the router, the controller box, I think maybe that might work. Maybe we'll see. It's a bit of a pain. I need to enter eyes. Are you there? And then if I put the controller directly opposite, which is the emeralds box, so the emeralds can go down here. And obviously I'm going to have to um, recontrol, reconfigure everything. Where did, my, where did my controller go? Then reconfigure the drawers. Beautiful. 
puller? It's pulling from here. How do I have to set the direction? Maybe if I do this, set the direction. So it's going to pull, pull from down. Okay. Front. Let's see. There is but one way to find out. Yes! So, in theory, that should be filling that up. Success! We're going to very quickly fill these up. So, I've got four diamond upgrades and I have from a previous quest reward some copper upgrades which are I don't know where you there and some void upgrades which I don't think I'm going to be able to make without ender eyes no, obsidian and an oak oh that's not too bad I can make some more obsidian's not that hard to make at the moment plenty of lava so anyway, okay. definitely want lots of iron. So this one can be diamond. Um, definitely want lots of gold. Oh look, let's be honest, we want lots of all of these. Want lots of diamonds and emeralds, but at the same time I know I'm not going to get lots of those straight up. So I'm wondering, can I, do I use these to upgrade? Oh, let's have a look. So to make gold upgrade, I need chests lots of gold and then to make a diamond upgrade any chests and I need that and lots of diamonds so let's just grab some gold some diamonds start smelting gold buy the ton need some coal okay so I've got enough to maybe get it started three blocks it's obviously raining and my rain stopper is working but it still makes it all dark and horrible so i'd like it to stay blue skies i suppose it's asking a bit too much okay so they'll do for now yeah i think copper's going to cause a clog up so copper's Going to get a void upgrade and a gold. Can I go here? So one void upgrade and one gold. So it gives me more, but once I hit it, this is going to definitely cause a clog. Um, and then I think I might wait for the rest. Actually, why don't I just make one out? Uh, let's put one on each and then just make some more. I'll do the making of the obsidian, the making of the obsidian and the void upgrades off camera, I think. So the goal for this episode was to get drawers storage happening. And we've kind of gotten there. Um, we've got drawers for one lot of sieves, the most important one, all of our metals. So um, we need ender eyes to be able to make our um, modular router send at an angle um, so I'm not sure that we'll be able to get more than this one barrel um, at this point irrelevant um, so next episode it's a choice between automating the trees or upgrading our meshes to manister which would mean getting into Britannia I believe so and manister will hopefully if I look at this correctly where are we in here no it still won't get us in stone so we might might very well have to so I'm not sure which which episode will be which but there's two choices here Automating our tree production, which I think is getting to be a priority, and um, moving our next tier of mesh to mana steel. Yeah, so I think our priority needs to be focused on sorting out our wood and getting to an ender eye or flying to that village where we'll probably have something to help that along. Not sure. 
regardless. Thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you next episode. Bye.